The Albuquerque grasshopper invasion of 2014 just gets weirder and weirder. The National Weather Service was seeing blobs on the radar that looked like storms over the city. They weren't storms, they were swarms of grasshoppers. News 13's Tina Jensen is live way out on the west side near the petroglyphs. Tina? Jessica, this is the time of night when they become really active. And while you can see a few of them flying around here and there, I just spoke with the National Weather Service. They say the radar is already showing that there's a big swarm flying high above me right now. In this situation, we know that it's something other than precipitation because the particles that we're sensing are not uniform. They're a lot more busy. Take a look at this National Weather Service radar from Wednesday night. Those green blobs over the city kept showing up in the past few nights. A closer look shows those green and yellow areas were some sort of particles with a lot of energy moving in different directions. We really, we actually thought that the radar was broke. <laughs> so we had our technicians go out there a couple times. They couldn't find anything wrong, so we had to call the the National Radar Depot in Oklahoma. The people in Oklahoma said they'd seen something like it a few times before in different parts of the country and asked if Albuquerque was having any sort of insect invasion. The National Weather Service radar doesn't pick up what's happening on the ground. It shows that at night those grasshoppers are flying 1,000 feet in the air. For perspective, that's about three times higher than Albuquerque's tallest building. We can explain it, certainly. The city's environmental health department says the grasshoppers seen in Albuquerque's invasion are pretty good flyers. And then you have the wind, which really acted up Wednesday night. With temperatures warming up, we're getting a lot of thermal inversions. So once these grasshoppers get up into the air, it's no stretch to imagine that they're getting pulled up by some of these upcurrents and getting high up into the atmosphere. And while the West Mesa is getting hit the hardest, the radar shows that while the city sleeps, those grasshoppers are swarming high over the entire metro area. The city environmental department says that last year's big monsoon season plus the mild winter created the perfect storm for all of these grasshoppers to hatch. Now they should die off by mid-June. Back to you. Wow, okay, Tina. The National Weather Service in Albuquerque says they occasionally pick up radar activity from bats in the Hamas or from cicadas during bad years, but never with grasshoppers until now.